Yeah, you see a squirrel up there. You know, I've been thinking a lot about squirrels lately. Because they really like bird seed. Did you know that? They like all kinds of things, like nuts. You did know that. I've got friends who have bird feeders. They buy bird seed. It costs them money. And that bird seed is for, who do you think? the For birds, yeah, it's for birds. And so when the squirrels get it, the people who have the bird seed, who bought money for it, who want to feed the birds, they, they get a little annoyed. But I got to tell you, those squirrels, they're focused on getting that bird seed. Did you know that a squirrel can jump from here up to as tall as any of you are, like four feet tall, they can jump straight up like that, like that high. Yeah. Did you know that a squirrel could jump all the way from, let's say, see that stand over there, like right over there? all the way over to this stand over here. They can jump like nine, ten feet through the air. It's amazing. So there was this one guy who set up a bird feeder outside his house, and the squirrel just went down and started eating the bird seed. So he moved it a little further away, and you can see like in this picture, the squirrel stretched and he's able to get the bird seed. So he moved it even further away, five feet away, and what do you think the squirrel did? He jumped. He jumped. He, that's not a big deal for him. He jumped and he landed. So he moved it eight feet away, and what do you think the squirrel did? He jumped all the way over there. So he got a new bird feeder, and he, he had a lid on it that was really tough to get in, and the, the birds could only get the seed out of the bottom, but the squirrel couldn't. And so the the squirrel jumped over to the, the bird seed feeder and he climbed up on top and he pulled the lid off. <laughs> and he stuck his head down there and started eating the bird seed. I mean, they're amazing. I've seen this happen again and again. People keep trying different ways. I have good friends of mine have a bird feeder now that circles around every time the, the squirrel gets on it. And if you watch, the squirrel will grab one and it'll start to spin. And the squirrel will start to go, whoa, whoa, like a, a ride at the circus. The squirrel will go flying off into the air. And they always land on their feet. They always do. It's amazing. Well, you know, Jesus told a lot of stories about animals. And some of them were told to us so that we would be just like, let's say, a squirrel how much the squirrel wants to get at that bird seed, like that's what he's focused on. Jesus wants us to focus on the things that are most important for us. And so food's important, so we want to make sure we eat good food. But Jesus wants us to focus on loving other people. And sometimes it's really hard to love other people, right? Sometimes it's hard to be kind to your friends or your brothers or sisters. Sometimes it's hard to share but Jesus wants us, just like the squirrel focuses on what he wants, he wants us to focus on being kind and loving each other. So I want you to be like a squirrel. Focus on loving, on being kind to each other. Let's pray for just a minute, okay? Can you fold your hands? Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you focus on loving us and you call us to focus on loving each other. Help us to do that. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks for coming up. You can go ahead to Flourish Worship or back with your families.